Coach, I mean, yes, congratulations. Uh, I know you wanted to get this one under the belt. Um, it seemed as the game went on, the pace picked up for your team a little bit. Um, how were you feeling with regards to the, the ump up bill pace that I know you want this team to have? Okay with it. Uh, I just don't want to be a downhill team where uh, the downhill team means you, you're only going fast one way. So I, I want to be an even kill team where we get back as fast as we uh, – as, as fast as we pushing the pace on offense. So I'm okay with that. We just have to get back and be ready to be in the stance and, and, and play basketball and be ready to defend. And that was one of the issues that I think we had throughout the whole entire game where uh, we weren't getting back with the consistency that we needed to. Okay. Um, with regard to, uh, you know, Diamond, we didn't really find out until the start of the game that she was having a little bit of knee inflammation. Um, how are you with – you know, her production today and our, what's her timetable for her to get back to being fully healthy? So she's, she was a plus four for the game, which is good. Uh, this is a compacted season, you know, so uh, she had she had some uh, knee issue in, in the preseason and um, we're just going to take our time with her. Like uh, she's going to get back, but uh, we, we don't want to use her up and, and abuse her body when it's not ready, you know. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. She, she gave us some good minutes where – you know, we won the game by two, but her minute, she was plus four. And uh, that's what we needed, you know. So once she gets back, you'll you'll see a lot of diamond. It's just that um, we want we want to respect where she is and, and not uh, put her in a situation where it's it's, it's harmful to her body and, and you know, harmful to, to her health. Hey, Coach, I just uh, I wanted to ask you if there you found out if there was a reason why they did not give you that uh, that monitor review on that Quigley bucket in the second quarter. Uh, no. Okay. I don't know. Ka, congratulations on the victory tonight. Um, I know your number got called several times. Can you just speak about the last couple of minutes and, uh, you know, the team coming together and that unity to be able to get that victory? Uh, I think uh, we were all lifting each other up in those moments. You know, Ali struggled in the beginning just a little bit. But we were just telling her, me especially, was just telling her, like, you're still the best shooter in the league. Like, no matter how many shots you miss, we still going to count on you at the end of the game to hit these shots. And she came up big for us, as she does all the time. And uh, along with that, you know, with Diamond not playing a lot tonight, you, Cheyenne, and the rest of the team really had to kind of step up. So can you just speak to, you know, the mentality of this team just after this game and such a big victory, being able to come back? I'm in, uh, not playing as much as big for us because she's a great player for us. But this just shows the depth of our team and how good we can be when we all have to step up and play for each other. First, before we start, I um, just want to say it was awesome being out there with my team, um, fighting for – we're all fighting for justice this season for Breonna Taylor and still want those cops to be arrested. No justice, no peace. Um, and so we just want – I just want to start with that. Um, hey, Z, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. And I just want to echo that same sentiment. Today is definitely a good day to arrest the murderers of Breonna Taylor. Yes. Uh, so you set the tone kind of to start this game coming out really and putting up the points to really set this energy going with this team. Um, what was going through your mind in moments such as the second half where, you know, you knew you ladies had to be able to pull, come up from underneath to really get this victory? Um, I think it's just about energy. Like we, once we started getting stops, it kind of helped everything else flow on the offensive end. Um, and we were stopping what they were doing and then we were able to exploit off of that. So I think that's really what turned it around for us in the second half was just not fouling. Um, obviously I'm not talking about myself cause I fouled a lot, <laughs> but for the team, like not fouling, um, just getting solid stops, rebounding and then pushing it on them. Um, transition, we did really well. I felt like in the second half, but that all rooted, that all came from our defensive stops. Um, on the other end. And that actually led to my to my second question when it came to fouling. Um, was that just nerves or was that just getting back to your timing and rhythm down while you did get into so much foul trouble in this game? I think it was a little bit of both, but I, I think it was more of just lack of discipline. Like, I just have to be better um, taking away things that players do. Um, obviously, Asia is a great talent, but, like, there's a scout for a reason. So I just have to be better with that um, and, like, just – little things like staying on your feet, stuff like that. Like it's just discipline. Um, and especially once I get tired or <clears throat> we've gone up and down a couple of times, like you really have to lock in mentally 
Um, so I think that's just going to be my focus moving forward. Allie, congratulations. Um, just wanted to know what your thoughts were on this game, considering what happened last year and what it meant for you to be able to throw that, just have that game winning shot. <sighs> I felt a lot of emotions, uh, just relief because I was having a pretty crappy game, but just happy that we were able to get this win. It was an ugly game. We did, definitely did not play our best. So to be able to steal that one um, at the last last couple minutes was huge. Listen, I know you ladies are going to enjoy this one and then it's on to the next one. But, you know, how do you feel the team has responded to getting back to having that continuity and that rhythm now that you have played one official game? Uh, I think it was good to just get some of the dust and rust off tonight. Um, we felt really good in practices, but, you know, the games are a whole nother level. So I think that every game will improve and get a little bit better and better. A lot of us haven't played, obviously, in four months. Some people haven't played in a year. So game games are different than practices, for sure. Allie, congrats. Thank you.